G'day folks, Corey Hind, I hope you're well. Now today, or now, has been some major change on Google Business Profile, as in how users and businesses get to use it and interact with it. It's been coming for a while. You've probably noticed for some time you've clicked on your profile and it's asked you to manage it via search and you've said, no, stay here. Well, now it's changed. The old dashboard is pretty much gone. So if you go to business.google.com, you'll see your listing there. And if you have more than one listing, it'll still be there. But then when you click on it to manage it, you used to go to the Google Business Profile Dashboard Manager, which is now gone. Okay, you will be teleported to this page here, which is the search option. So it looks like a normal Google search page. There's actually two ways to manage your Google Business Profile now. There is this, which is Google search option. And there's also the Google Maps option, which you can access via your phone or the Google Maps search on desktop. I suggest you use this and Google does as well. That's why when we go to business.google.com and we click on our listing, they send us here because this is their suggested place to manage Google business profile. So the job for all of us at the moment, myself included, my clients, people who follow our content, our own businesses, we have to get used to this platform now, I've had a good look at it this morning, and as Google does, I think they're onto a winner. I think they've actually made it better. They want us to stay on Google and use Google. That's their goal. Therefore, they want to be the best product around. And once again, I think they've done it. So the old dashboard manager was pretty cool. We're all used to it, and that's why we liked it, simply because we're used to it. But this is what we're going to have to get used to using as of now, pretty much today as I shoot this early November 2022, this is what you'll see. So this is the search option. So what we're going to do is walk through the differences, the features, so you can get a handle on where you need to be, where you don't need to be, and any differences, and just get you used to it. So like most things, six months from now, this will be absolutely normal. You'll be so used to it, it's not funny. But for now, you're going to go, oh my God, it's different. Wow, change is challenging. We know that but let's get used to it. So a couple of quick things. With Google, three buttons normally means click here. So if we start at the top, this is where we go. This is what people see from the, the public or see this sort of thing, and then your organic search results down there. But this is our listing that it tells us only the managers of this profile can see. So this is where we can do things that are useful, okay? So as all things Google, when you see three buttons, that means click here and have a look. So when you click there, that gives you a few options, and most of them you don't really need to look through right now, except business profile settings. That's something that people who are on board with us need to use because they need to add us as a manager. It's got some advanced settings which you can look at, but you probably won't use. If you were to close the profile down, that's there. And if you're linking up things like Google Ads, that's in there. But certainly Google Managers, if you're going to add somebody to your listing, the business, another colleague, a friend, a manager in the shop, whatever it might be, you click on that and it'll be pretty much the same as before. It'll give you an ad option and you can just uh, dump an email address there and away you go. So that's up the top there. Here we've got a whole bunch of options and here we've got some options too. Little arrows mean click and see what's to the right. So there's a few things there. Get more reviews you'll probably use. If you click on that, just takes you to what your semi used to see in, which is the link that you use to ask people for reviews and you'll just click on there and it'll let you copy it and paste it in an email or a message, whatever it might be. Custom email, probably something you don't want to do. What you can do here is, for example, I don't need to see this. I can dismiss that. Okay, and that'll be gone. Create an offer. I might use that. Uh, term of views and customers, I'll probably use that. So, But you can dismiss these at any point. So if I wanted this one to go, I'll just click on dismiss and away it goes. And that reduces what you can see. So you get to customize this a bit for you. Up here, we've got, what is it, 12 different options. Most of them you will know there are a few changes. So probably the most important change is, well, there's two biggies that I can see. One is add update. Now that used to be called posts. Now it's called add update. If you've seen Google business profile listings on mobile, you'll know that they're called updates. So that makes sense. So if you click on add updates, that gives you pretty much what you had before, but with a different format. So you might be adding an event for the business or an offer or just a normal update like we've normally done as a post. 
And that gives you the option of adding a photo, adding some text, and adding a call to action. So you might write something up about the business here, add a photo, and they'll pop in a call now option as an example. So that's something you can do. So that's adding updates. Q&A feature, we've talked about this recently. That's where you can actually pop questions in yourself about the business and answer them. And if you do get questions from external people, they will appear there as well. Edit services, we do this for our clients. We go in and we describe the services. So you've got all these options here to describe these things. You would click on one, you can edit it. You can list more there. Sometimes Google will add loads of these for you. You might need to delete some. You might need to add some. You might, to, might need to rewrite some. So edit services is something you should most certainly look at. If you've got products on your account, you'll go in there and edit those. From the top here, edit profile is kind of like the old business information tab on the dashboard. So you go in there and as most things Google, it gives you a little pen option to change things. So if I was going to edit the name, that's where I'd do it. If I was going to edit the description, a pen icon turns up, we do it there. And as you roll through there, all of that stuff is fairly obvious. Three buttons always means click, have a look. That's just help and support or send feedback if you want to. It doesn't usually go anywhere. Read reviews. So if you've got reviews to reply to, go in there. Messages. Now, we've talked to most of our clients this year about enabling the message option on Google Business Profile. They will turn up in there, but they also turn up via email associated with the account. They'll also turn up on your phone if you've got Google Maps on there as well. If you're going to add photos, you do it in here. You just upload it from your desktop, and it's pretty intuitive, pretty easy to use. That's exactly the same as what it was before. So just do the same thing as before. Choose the photos to upload. No differences there. Pretty easy to use. And over here are two interesting differences. So the advertise options changed. If you click on there, it's just going to walk you through a process of adding ads to your business, which may or may not be useful. Depends on the business you're in. Performance is something that's definitely changed. So this, the timeframes have changed, which I really like. I was only saying to some clients yesterday in my review sessions that I wish they had more wider timeframes for data because three months isn't a huge amount of time. You can walk right along here and see the website clicks. You can see the number of messages you've received, the calls, and that's really useful stuff because at the end of the day, that's what we want. This is new. I don't think this was here before in terms of the actual phrases we're appearing for. So SEO Tauranga is something that we appear for because we rank up the top of that. So we get most of that search. So the data is, I think it's better. However, it's different. So when I send out my next updates to clients, it's going to look totally different, but I'll just need to explain that. So that's, that's different. I encourage you to click on there and explore it, have a good look around because now it's starting to give you data about the words you're appearing for, which enables you to tailor your posts and your content a little bit more specifically. And if you've got some keywords you're not appearing for, you can think about how to change that as well. Probably the main thing you need to do though as a takeaway from this video, apart from hitting like and subscribe, is to be aware that the dashboard option, it's just not gonna be there anymore. You have to get used to maps and search this is what it looks like, so get used to it. Get in there, click on all of these buttons and have a look around. Okay, the game hasn't really changed with Google Business Profile. You need to show up, you need to be consistent, you need to edit your services, make sure they're well written, you need to answer any messages as fast as possible, you need to upload photos, upload updates, as we'll now use the phrase, answer questions and get reviews. So the review game is still a massive part of ranking and getting traffic and clicks to your profile. So this video is more about just showing you, yes, it looks different. We're going to get used to it. I think it's actually better. And at the end of the day, if your business serves a local area, you should be highly incentivized to figure this out for yourself or get professionals like us to manage it for you because it's responsible for so much traction of your business locally outside of the obvious things like word of mouth, Google Business Profile is a massive driver of your business, whether you like it or not. So I encourage you to get in there, look around, click on everything, add some updates, get used to that, 
go back and chase up some reviews whilst you're at it, answer any old reviews whilst you're at it, and just generally embrace this new platform because what I know from experience is that if your competition is not using this or embracing this quickly, it gives you a fantastic opportunity to make a bit of a jump ahead in terms of rankings and traffic and clicks and calls. Okay, so get onto it quickly. If you have any questions at all about any of this stuff, please just comment below. We'll get back to you when we can or jump on our Substack list, which is coreyhine.substack.com. Right, guys, thanks for listening, and we will talk soon. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.